Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, and today we're gonna to uncrate the Shark Race R Pro GP. This guy is the flagship of the Shark lineup. It is the big, bold racing helmet, clearly uh, defined by its extreme uh, air diffuser. We'll talk more about that, but this is designed for very aggressive street riding or track guys. Um, this is the Lorenzo Winter Test Edition. Shell construction, uh, tri-material, you know, proprietary blend of aramid fibers and carbon fiber to try to keep this light and strong. Price tag ain't cheap. It's gonna run you between a thousand and eleven hundred dollars depending on the flavor you go. The uh, the solid colors, solid colors are of course cheaper, whereas the replicas are a little bit more money. Weight is three and a half pounds, making it relatively lightweight, but not necessarily the lightest racing helmet we sell. Uh, we'll talk more about what goes into that a little bit later. It is DOT and ECE certified. Uh, this helmet is also FIM um, for the racers. They did not pay to have the production helmets FIM certified. Do with that information what you choose to. Uh, I'm not going to make any sort of inferences, but uh, uh, the guys on the track have an FIM uh, Racer R Pro GP. Uh, oval, intermediate oval to slightly, slight, slightly round. Most intermediate oval heads fit uh, just nice in here. It's, it runs a little small. And by small, I mean like a race fit. Uh, most racing helmets do have kind of, especially in the cheek area, uh, the first impression when you put them on should be nice and tight. They're gonna break in. The cheek pads in there in here are designed to mold to your face over time. Two shell sizes, so big heads are gonna have trouble here up in the larger sizes. Shell sizes break down extra small through medium and then a second shell size for extra large and 2X. It is, uh, or sorry, large through, through XL um, in this guy. Uh, intercom ready, so it does have speaker pockets, which is not typically uh, the norm for a full-blown racing helmet like this, but it is nice. The pros do communicate with the pits, and uh, if you're a street guy, maybe you want to put that in here. The helmet, uh, shark helmets are designed in France and manufactured at two different plants. One, all their thermoplastic uh, helmets are made in Portugal. That's a hotbed for thermoplastic industry. And then the, the, the fiber helmets are made in their factory in Thailand. Most of these European manufacturers are fleeing Europe because it's just way too expensive to make the labor intensive fiber helmets in Europe and most of them are now being made in China or in uh, Southeast Asia. So that's your education there. Let's dive in and see what Shark has cooked up here. First up, uh, the shape of this helmet is something that I wanna call out to you and it's hard for you to see because of this diffuser but if you remove this, this is a really traditional like spherical shape. Uh, a lot of the helmets nowadays, especially these racing helmets, the actual helmet uh, design is longer. They'll still put an air diffuser on it to add aerodynamic um, stability, but the, the helmet shapes are kind of changing these more longer, longer designs. Uh, Shark and Arai reject that premise because they think a spherical design is not only stronger but safer in that the way it may tumble off of the terrain is is going to have less resistance. You have less corners and stuff. Because if you get an accident, this is plastic. This is going to shear off. And then the helmet construction is nice and spherical. So that is their philosophy. And I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, let's start out with ventilation. So pretty standard from what you're seeing out here, right? We got intakes, intake, intake, chin bar. Um, you know, pretty normal switches. Uh, this one's a little anemic for work, working with gloves, but usually on a race helmet, you're just going to want to have these wide open anyway. So set and forget. These switches feel quality. Uh, underneath your diffuser is where the extraction happens. There's exhaust vents under here. Typical Venturi exhaust sucking the cold air in, blowing that hot air out, and uh, keeping you cool. What makes Shark a little unique is the way their EPS is structured to let that air move through the helmet and get onto your head when we rip out the guts. We'll show you that in a minute. One of my um, the things I like a lot about this helmet is the shield design. Nice thick shield, very sturdy. It is fog treated, so you're not gonna run a pin lock. It's also um, tear off ready, right? Racing helmet. But the magic is really in their, their pivot kit. And uh, this thing is unique in that it's very compact the actual helmet side. So you see this, this is just the, the shell material. This is just the helmet. Um, and so it's all packaged right up here. It's got this cam. This stays on this helmet, nice anodized red. And then this switch 
and the switch is actually part of the shield. So we're gonna flip that forward. And then this guy, when you wiggle this around, well, it's spring loaded, so it'll pop up and you're ready to go. And you can pop that right out. Really fast shield changes. <clears throat> and because there's not a bunch of plastic, this is just the shield onto the anodized aluminum. Because there's not a bunch of plastic moving parts and gears, there's less stuff to break. The feel is really unique. Um, it's just a really solid feel. It's very fluid. It doesn't have detents, but it does have a fair amount of resistance. So you could potentially park it there. Most guys on the track are gonna wanna securely latch that down. You got your latch right here, low tech latch. A lot of manufacturers are moving to fancier stuff that is a switch and a lock and a safety. Um, a good latch system is low tech and effective. I like that. You just lift up and go. No funny business. I can show you what else is included. There's a rain mask somewhere. I'm going to show you. So if you don't have a pin lock, well, first you get this beautiful French red and blue. Well, it's a little close for you, but you get the picture. Pro carrying bag. You can even put your business card in there. In addition to the helmet sock, which is sitting on my right. Aha, this is what I wanted to show you. This rain mask goes inside of here behind the breath deflector and in extreme riding conditions, the anti-fog treatment will not be sufficient. So you want this to direct the hot air coming out of your, your pie hole down out of the helmet and not onto the shield and fogging up. So extreme riding conditions there, you have that. This is an extra chin curtain. I'll show you that in a minute. And of course your helmet sock. What else comes in the box for a thousand of your hard earned dollars? They're going to give you a smoke shield. That's nice, you're spending a ton of dough. You should get all the goodies. Okay, so the smoke shield also included. Let's flip this over and show you another thing that makes shark helmets unique. Handled a lot of helmets uh, in my day. Um, the quietest helmets have the most um, significant neck rolls in them or the most pronounced neck rolls. This is all neck roll. You don't, you still are not, not even seeing the inside of the helmet until I really pull this back. No, when it comes to noise, you want to, most of the noise is not due to the aerodynamics of the helmet. It's coming up from the bottom. So the better seal you can get around your neck, the quieter the helmet's going to be. So they have this really pronounced neck roll here. And then they also have this uh, unique kind of neoprene chin curtain. And if you really want to go a step further, they're giving you an extra flap which buttons in underneath to get a really tight seal, maybe extreme conditions you wanna keep wet out of there, or you really wanna get the most secure um, fit. So the feedback from guys on the track on this is like, whoa, this is, this is crazy quiet for a racing helmet. Most of the time, racing helmets are not known to be quiet. Let's jump into the guts. Uh, anodized D-ring, kind of a nice touch. Got a snap finish on here so it doesn't blow around in the breeze. Let's pull the cheek pads out really tight snaps inside this helmet. So I'm gonna flip it around real quick. Um, but the cheek pads are, they come in many different sizes. So if you have to custom fit, we can help you out with that if it's not perfect out of the box. But uh, it is gonna be a race fit. Let these break in. It's gonna take, you know, a handful of rides before this helmet feels like, you know, you're right at home. There you go, moisture wicking. Not emergency release cheek pads, kind of standard clip-ins, but uh, nice material, antimicrobial moisture wicking all that nice stuff. And just really like a high quality when I handle this helmet, it, every every piece I touch just feels very high quality. Get that cheek pad out of the way. We'll pop the other one out and we'll show you the speaker pockets. Shark makes their proprietary uh, shark tooth, Bluetooth, but um, this helmet can accept any, any Bluetooth you care to plug in. And they're not only using the snaps, they've also put a piece of Velcro. Sounds like a little thing, but I'm telling you, the helmets that have a little extra Velcro in addition to snaps, the cheek pads tend to stay put a lot of times. Um, some helmets that aren't designed properly, you go to put them on your head, the cheek pads can pop out of place and stuff. So the Velcro being on there is a nice touch. Okay, so in here, got a speaker pocket. See that right behind my hand? We'll move the headliner out of the, out of the way so you can see the EPS foam on this. The EPS foam is channeled and ribbed. And what that's gonna do is gonna do two things. It's gonna absorb energy in case of an impact, 
but it's also going to allow the air to move through the helmet and get right onto your head. So, oh, this thing's kind of the way we need to get some more light in there. There you go. All right, so Shark's not the only guys that do this, but uh, they do it quite well. It's aggressive channeling. It's gonna flow a lot of air onto your head. So, if you're looking for one of the most advanced racing helmets, most aerodynamic, high quality lids, this should be in the conversation. There's probably only a handful of them out there, especially ones that have been FIM certified for MotoGP. This is one of them. Head over to speedx.com to pick up your Shark Race R Pro GP. Remember, free exchanges and returns. We've got rewards. We'll take care of you. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.